Hello everyone, welcome to the new video on 3 minute series for prelims. In this video, we will be discussing about the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. During the time of British India, the forests have been seen as an areas of uh, resources having material benefits rather than used for con conservation. This led to a deterioration in the wildlife and also the forest which have been given less importance. This led to a drastic increase in the number of tigers whose population got reduced from 40,000 at the start of 20th century to 2,967 as per the 2018 Tiger Census report. This made the government of India in 1970s to make an act for the, for the conservation and protection of the wildlife. This includes both plants and animals. The constitutional provisions for the Wildlife Act are Article 48A which states that the state has to protect the environment and wildlife. This has been added through the 42nd Constitutional Amendment Act and also Article 51A which imposes a duty on the citizens to protect and improve the natural environment and also to have compassion for the living creatures. For the first time after the creation of this act, a comprehensive list of endangered wildlife that is both plants and animals was prepared in the country. The act provides for the establishment of national parks, wildlife sanctuary, community and as well as the conservation reserves. It created six schedules of giving varying degree of protection to the wildlife. Schedule 1 covers endangered species whose trade and killing is prohibited. Example is tiger. The schedule 2 is related to animals whose trade is prohibited and which can be hunted if they pose a threat to the human life. Schedule 3 and Schedule 4 deals with the species which are not endangered while the penalty for killing is much less when compared to Schedule 1 and Schedule 2. Schedule 5 deals about animals which can be hunted like rats etc. And the Schedule 6 deals with the plants which are forbidden from cultivation. Now let us look into different bodies which are created through this Wildlife Protection Act. The first one is the Central Zoo Authority which is the central body responsible for the oversight of zoos in the country. The second is the National Board for Wildlife which is chaired by the Prime Minister and it is an advisory body to the central government. If a project has to be approved and the project falls in the area of national parks or wildlife sanctuary, the permission and approval of the National Board for Wildlife is necessary. It also creates National Tiger Conservation Authority which gives statutory status to the Project Tiger which was started in the year 1973. It also creates Wildlife Crime Control Bureau which is an e intelligence agency to combat the wildlife crime in the country. Now let us solve this question. With reference to the WPA 1972, consider the following statements. It has provisions to declare areas as protected forest. Operation Save Kurma is a project carried out by the Wildlife Crime Control Bureau. The answer is two only. As we know that the protected areas are not declared under this act, rather they are declared through the Indian Forest Act of 1927. And the Operation Save Kurma is carried out by Wildlife Crime Control Bureau to stop the illegal trade of live turtles. Thank you.